It's a Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, January 8th. As I do this update this morning, many of you are in single-digit cold. And we stay below freezing all day today, but at least the sun out in full force and it's not as windy. Now let's go in there and look at things this morning. As we always do, we start with the water vapor satellite view for an overall look at the weather across the nation. The delivering mechanism for the brutally cold air. The big trough in the east slowly rotating on offshore at the big ridge in the west. High amplitude pattern. And ooh boy, you pretty much don't have to say much looking at those numbers. Now, you know, everybody's reporting temperatures this morning. We like to look at the official sites like this. And for those sky watchers and those with good weather instruments, uh, it's four at Haleyville. These were captured at five o'clock, four above zero. Birmingham, eight. So this Arctic air mass is overperforming. Uh, you know, we had forecast 11 for Birmingham, so we're three degrees under that. Tuscaloosa's at 13. Uh, Montgomery's at 16. We'll, we'll post a long list of the official lows this morning on the uh, blog. Around the nation, uh, Chicago's almost down to 10 below zero. And I'm telling you, we're, we're, we're not going uh, above freezing today for most everybody. Uh, we're in the midst of about 38 consecutive hours of sub-freezing temperatures for places like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, and Gadsden. Of course, we have hard freeze warnings all across the southern states, wind chill advisories for much of the east, and up north, blizzard warnings for parts of North Dakota and Minnesota, so I guess it could be worse. This is the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning. Numbers have come up a little bit. This is suggesting maybe somebody getting a half inch around here. We think the better chance of rain will be early next week, but it's still a little murky in terms of which day will offer the best chance of, of rain. Let's take a look. The GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. Again, Western Ridge, Eastern Trough, cold, but at least the pressure gradient is lightened up. Not as windy today. The high will be somewhere between 29 and 32 for most people around our neck of the woods here. Tomorrow morning, again, cold. Uh, we figure upper teens are likely for most places. And uh, during the day, notice the pressure gradient comes back up. The winds will increase again out of the north as a secondary surge of colder air drops in. But we do expect to be above freezing tomorrow. The high should be around 40. And this is Saturday. Saturday morning is going to be cold. I think we need to maybe look at revising the numbers down a little bit. Uh, I think we've got 16 for Birmingham now. We will probably bump that down to 14. That's what the GFS is printing. Uh, so another very significant freeze Saturday morning. The high will be close to 40 Saturday afternoon, but the sky will be bright and sunny. This is Sunday. A more pronounced warm-up begins. We should be around 50 by Sunday afternoon. And you can see rain off to the west. And again, I think we'll mention maybe the chance of a shower late Sunday afternoon or Sunday night. But it will be way above freezing, of course, by then. No freezing rain issues. And this is Monday. The heights have come way up, so this, the pattern is relaxing. There's a broad southwest flow aloft, and within that, little short waves could produce some rain from time to time with a moist air mass. This is Monday, and again, trying to identify you know, exactly which day will offer the best chance of rain is tough. That lead wave is actually east of the state, so that first batch of showers might come through Sunday night or very early Monday morning. This is Tuesday. We stay in a moist air mass. That doesn't look especially wet. And this is Wednesday. Again, more rain off to the west, and that will likely come in here late Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. So the bottom line is uh, we'll have the chance of some rain at times uh, late Sunday, Sunday night through Wednesday night of next week. And this is a week from today. This is Thursday, uh, the 15th. We have a northwest flow aloft, and that looks like a dry air mass and a sunny day. And again, temperature should be about where we ought to be here for January. Highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. We'll check the end of the forecast, January 23rd. Big upper feature west of the state, and that looks uh, nasty wet. But this is out there in the land of voodoo. This feature probably goes away on the next run, but it certainly doesn't look very cold out here. Temperatures coming off the ensembles. You can see that once we get past this cold snap, the numbers look a whole lot better uh, for uh, the rest of the month, at least through January 23rd. Potential for maybe a couple of days with a high around 60, and that'll feel pretty good. And we note that the uh, high-res GFS, the new parallel GFS, is uh, not as bullish on that big negative spike it was trying to show with the AO at mid-month. It's It goes down, but it's toward the neutral line, and the same thing for the NAO. So, again, uh, sure looks like at least 
after this cold snap. The next uh, 15 days won't be as cold, which is good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.